So yes, uh, do share yourself or bring your questions. I don't know what questions we had <clears throat> in the chat. Um. Yes, so there was a question from Andreas Keynes, I think some time ago, uh, regarding uh, the possibility to hide and show us uh, integrators uh, sidebar. Oh, yes. he gave the example of nextcloud but basically you know since if we want to have it uh, collaborate uh, online occupying the most space possible <laughs> <laughs> if we can like it's a little bit tricky eh? because depending on the the case and depending on who you talk i mean depending on the type of user you talk you might have people saying that no no i want more of the integrators control and less of that application because i only use for previewing or i only use for this small thing and then you talk with another person no no i actually do a lot of stuff i use placeholders i use these and so i want to collaborate online to occupy the maximum space so it's uh, it's a tricky balance it's true i think we should probably have a an api that allows an iframe to be embedded in our sidebar and be shown as a panel um, particularly with the new sidebar and post messages crazily up and down the stack so that stuff can happen uh, and then see who uses it and what they do with it uh, that would be my suspicion um, but yeah I, I, it was it was a great idea from andreas to uh, look at that at some stage but uh, we'll talk to our wonderful customers and partners if, if they actually want it before we do it I think. exactly yes <laughs> yeah i mean our placeholder thing would obviously work really nicely in the right sidebar Right. Yes. And I mean, it's reasonably easy to do that, I think, as an iframe and then to have, you know, some way of showing it, you know, in your, in your, as a button. Yeah, we could pass a URL in and you will show it just in that iframe and we Definitely. use the, yeah. the iframe API, the, the post message API to do the same thing as we do it now on what we show as an overlay. Sure, sure, sure. So that, that would be really cool if we, we could do that. And we can. It's just a matter of engineering, which is <laughs> which is fun. Um, but anyway, great to see uh, many things there. Other questions do we have? Um, so nice, nice to see Groupware doing good, good things. And uh, people yeah, are loving was, the placeholders there. Sure. Yeah, there was one, one more question some time ago uh, from Paul, but Paul needed to leave meanwhile. But anyhow, he was uh, asking if we ever uh, thought about. Uh, I think it's called GitHub discussions. Uh, I guess it's it's something that get that uh, GitHub GitHub offers, uh, and I guess it's for discussions. <laughs> yeah, I don't know much about it. <laughs> I'm just uh, communicating what he asked. Uh, but yeah, maybe we can look into it. I didn't know about it, so yeah. Excellent. Excellent. And uh, yeah, all sorts of good things in, in cloud there. Nice to uh, nice to see it coming together and uh, working nicely. That's all really good. And CERN using it is uh, exciting too. So uh, it's great to uh, be helping. Yeah, us actually, that. they are developing it. So oh, well, indeed, we, indeed. Yeah, oh, it's, it's, it's actually, actually, it's the other way around. So we are, <laughs> yeah, hey. like, like I said, we are, we are using Riva and uh, also contributing to it. But actually, uh, yeah. <laughs> Hello there. I'm happy to be here as well. Uh, uh, thanks, really for uh, presenting this. I was just replying to Pedro in the chat, but, uh, but I'm happy to also contribute. Uh, so yeah, indeed, this work, uh, I'm especially super happy to see the, the web UI, because this is the part that is mostly on the cloud side. So we are using on cloud in the end, but the core backend, uh, is is a collaborative effort it's all there in github and uh, yeah i can say i'm the proud uh, uh, main author of the wapi server but uh, but <laughs> there is a lot of work really from our team there's really a lot of stuff going on behind the scene i can tell you for example one little detail this wapi server because we actually allow to mount the storage so people can also access the the storage as a normal fuse mount file Oh, okay, so yeah, I got muted at some stage. Uh, we even 
have integrated uh, uh, a mechanism such that uh, people that open a file, a LibreOffice file with LibreOffice, on Windows or on Linux, no matter what, will, uh, will lock the file in such a way that WAPI understands it, and vice versa. If a file is opened by Collabora, then LibreOffice understands this file was opened by a web editor. As we will tell you, really, Collabora as the web editor. So there's a nice, uh, there's a nice integration in that respect. We should, we should get that uh, upstream, I think, uh, left and right. I, we're, we're looking at similar things to try and do that. <laughs> for, for all, uh, and to standardize that for, for file sync and share people and having a, having a decent way of finding where to, to send a REST blocking request. <laughs> Um, but for now, I think, uh, as, as our friend Ralph was saying earlier, we need to be uh, dropping locks when we uh, quit or, or this kind of thing. You know, there are a number of things there that we need to improve. Yeah, indeed. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, that is, uh, that is definitely... Cool. Well, okay, this is also... We have this speciality of, uh, of uh, allowing the, the storage to be accessed directly, so behind the, 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 the web front end, which maybe is not that uncommon. I don't know. What is your experience? Yeah, but I think you always got the problem as uh, soon as you uh, allow um, file synchronization. And well, yes, there, there you even have some other corner cases like your laptop is on uh, offline because you're on a train or something like that, and then you can't do anything about it. So. Of course, but that one that, that is kind of the core of the problems. I remember chatting with Michael somewhere where we could do a real chat over coffee, uh, like. Uh, yeah, what do you do with this lock uh, API? I mean, the semantic there is what it is. So if somebody is synchronizing a file while the file is open by Collabora, the only thing that uh, I can tell Collabora, look, the file has changed. And Collabora is doing actually a good job in, in saying, the file is, is changed down the storage, uh, you can save it, uh, and then you have to deal with the conflict. Uh, that there is no magic. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's one of the reasons why we didn't do locking for a long time, just because of the leaked locks and that, you know, unplug your laptop, go into a tunnel, <laughs> or, you know, drop, <laughs> drop the laptop with a dumpster fire and, uh, you know, yeah, what, no, there goes the lock. We'll never be able to do that file again. You know, and, uh, <laughs> yeah. Indeed. It's, uh, it's all good fun. But, and, and the funny thing is that you see this in Windows. I mean, Windows is a heavy locker. It's an operating system. And for many yeah. years, we'd be like, uh, you know, hunting around the office to find how we can, who has got that file open still so that we can, you know, reboot the server or restart the app or, you know, I mean, you know it's, it's a bit of a plague of uh, immovable files for unclear reasons. So anyway, we'll see. Uh, hopefully with, with quicker leases and good internet connections these days, I think we can probably get lease time right down and, uh, and get a good user experience out of it. Good. Any other questions before I try and wrap up? Anything at all, you know?